Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Abbas video. Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Um, somebody requested Appa to make some curry, so here you are. And since this is, uh, I made this video during the uh, lockdown time, so we have more time. Therefore, today I'm going to make a little bit more complicated. Um, curry uh, paste but of course I will also tell you uh, how to make it simplified don't worry okay so I have approximately let me see maybe about 1 kg about 1 kg of uh, ayam here chicken cut into uh, small uh, bite sizes and then I have a, I have this is what I left <laughs> I've only left with uh, two potato and then uh, let's look at the let's first look at the fresh ingredient okay um, I have a uh, bruised lemongrass this is about one tablespoon of chopped coriander stems yeah this is the stems of the coriander fresh coriander about one tablespoon of chopped garlic about one tablespoon of chopped red onion shallot about one tablespoon of uh, old ginger about one tablespoon of galangal blue ginger okay so and then uh, some ch uh, green chili slices of course we have some curry leaves all right some curry leaves here and then uh, i'm i'm using one tomato here this is smaller sizes which we are going to saute this is uh, this is the bigger chunk i'm going to add in towards the end more for garnishing and then of course we need some coconut milk and uh, this is not a sponsored video but I'm just showing it for a while this is probably one of the best coconut cream you can find in the market okay this is not a sponsored video again I'm saying it is so super fragrant this one is probably even more fragrant than the freshly squeezed coconut milk go and try okay a uh, few things to remember number one uh, when after right after you uh, you cut you uh, remove the skin of your potato uh, always remember to soak it under water if not it will oxidize okay of course you can also go and uh, pan fry it uh, i'm not going to pan fry today now next thing i'm going to uh, show you how to mix curry paste somehow somebody told appa that she likes to see appa taking the ingredient out from the container mm, i don't know why but okay since you like it i'll do it for you for those who doesn't like to see, just uh, op out, yeah. Uh, fast forward. Now, okay. The main we have many ingredients here, and Appa always cook, uh, keep them into all these uh, interlocking uh, containers. I bought it in Kuala Lumpur. If many people always like uh, ask me this question, I bought all this plastic container from in Kuala Lumpur, Taman Desa, a shopping center, a small supermarket called D Market. Okay. Uh, so I have many ingredients here. Let's start with the basics. If you don't have everything else, just use these three, which is good enough. Which is good enough. Always remember that. Okay, so um, let us start with about two teaspoons of red chili powder. Okay, this is red chili powder. Then about one teaspoon of coriander powder all right one teaspoon of turmeric powder we can have a little bit more turmeric it's good to eat to have more turmeric today because it can help to enhance improve your in body in, in immune system okay so let's put this aside then I'm having some, uh, this is cumin powder, Chinese is called xiao hui xiang, half teaspoon. Cumin will actually help to uh, remove gaminess. This is fennel powder, da hui xiang, okay. The, also about half a teaspoon. If you have some black pepper white pepper you can also add in let me add some black pepper this is my uh, own ground black pepper okay finish we have just finished with the powders let's put in the uh, herbs okay this is star anise about one to two star anise up to you 
This is cardamom. Put three cardamom. And probably two cloves. Then we have cinnamon stick. And one bay leaf. Alright. This will give you the base of your chicken uh, curry paste. If you, of course, if you if you have some homemade masala powder, you can also add in about one uh, teaspoon here. Let me zoom in for you. Okay. If you have, I repeat, if you have some masala powder at home, I do have videos teaching you how to make masala at home. You can search for it. Okay, if you know how to make masala at home, then you can also add some masala powder, about one, one teaspoon as well. So let me repeat here. This, this is two tablespoons, two teaspoon of, uh, two teaspoon of chili, chili paste. This is uh, chili powder, red chili powder, one teaspoon of uh, Korean powder, one teaspoon of turmeric powder, half teaspoon of cumin, half teaspoon of fennel powder half teaspoon of black pepper powder, about one to two uh, star anise, three cardamom, two to three uh, cloves, one cinnamon stick, one bay leaf. Okay, mm, I will see if my, uh, my, uh, my paste is not enough later, I may add a little bit more. Okay, basically you really don't need a lot of uh, uh, powders. Uh, one of uh, actually few of my friends they tend to put too much powder into the curry chicken, uh, but I will adjust later. Okay. By the way, before you start cooking, one thing you also need to do is to dilute your coconut milk. Okay, so I'm going to uh, put in a little bit here. All right, and then I'm going to dilute it with some hot water. Let's start cooking. I'm going to put in a good amount of oil, at least three to four tablespoons easily because um, the spices will actually absorb your... Oops, there's some water in my wok just now, sorry, apologies. Bad example, don't learn from me. Okay, so uh, let's put in the fresh herbs, saute them. The tomato, which I want to uh, saute. Curry leaves. I will probably need a little bit more oil. Ooh, very fragrant. Okay, I'm going to saute this for a couple of minutes, so we will come back shortly. This is after about 3-4 uh, minutes sauteing under medium heat or medium high heat. Now we want to put in, uh, add in the dry spices and the powders. Before that, reduce the heat to a low heat, okay, because the spices can get burned rather easily. Actually, usually I put almost uh, one tablespoon. Today I use teaspoon. Okay, never mind. We will add more if it's not enough. Okay. Okay. Use medium low heat to slowly saute your powders. You don't want to burn them. Ooh, super fragrant. Look at the beautiful color. Okay, let's slowly using medium low heat to saute our curry paste here for a couple of minutes and we will come back shortly. Right, this is after about another 3-4 minutes sauteing under medium low heat. We have this beautiful curry paste. Now we can actually add in our chicken. Some people would like to marinate their chicken with some curry paste. Powders, up to you, no problem.
and not forgetting our potato yeah I'm going to raise the fire now I don't have to worry about my uh, um, curry paste getting burned already because I already added in the chicken and the potato Ooh. Super fragrant, I wish, I really wish you can smell this. Actually, do you hate it when Appa say that? <laughs> okay, nice. I don't think we need to add any curry paste. Just nice. Right? Then I'm going to add some hot water. And also some uh, diluted coconut milk. This is the diluted version, so you don't worry. Uh, it will not uh, oil break, yeah? It will not oil break, don't worry. This is the diluted version. A bit more. Okay. I still have some curry paste here, don't waste. Let's this let's bring this to a boy first, then we will continue. Alright, it is now boiling, then we can actually close the lid, reduce the heat to medium and let it cool for about 20 minutes uh, why 20 minutes actually my chicken 10 minutes enough but the uh, uh, in order for the potato to get softened it need another uh, it need minimum 20 minutes so we will uh, we shall come back uh, 20 minutes after this all right my curry has been simmering for the past 20 minutes under medium low heat Oh, super fragrant. The broth is actually reducing, no problem. I'll be adding some uh, coconut milk later as well, so don't worry. Uh, let me try. Okay, my potato is definitely cooked. So let's do some final seasoning here. Remember, we still have some uh, tomato chunk. I'm going, I'm going to put it right now. So and I'm going to give it some a pinch of salt. Followed by some sugar. Okay. Let me go a bit. Stir, yeah, stir. Gao means stir in Malay. Super fragrant. Woohoo! Some of you prefer to buy instant mixed curry paste, no problem, go ahead and use it, don't worry. Let me taste it. Mmm! Spicy! Woo! How come so spicy? Nice! <laughs> Spicy, savory, a bit sweet, very nice and strong curry spices taste. Okay, now it's almost basically it's done. I'm going to off the fire, off the fire, but one more step. This is my coconut milk, um, only diluted a little bit, so it is very thick. See, as you can see here, it's very thick. I'm going to add it in. I only added the thickened coconut milk towards the end, yeah? Alright, it's done! So 
let me dish it out for you I know why is it so spicy because I changed to a Pakistan brand um, red chili powder so if you uh, I think safer for you to use Baba brand because it's local they localize the flavor it's not so spicy okay use the local brand Baba okay it's called Baba's go and get it again this is not sponsored okay all right so this is my um, curry chicken if you like my video do share my video on your facebook to your friends come to cooking up our facebook fan page to click like and follow button follow up on instagram and subscribe to cooking up our youtube channel so thank you very much bye bye